If you're using a low-end PC and CS2 runs slow and laggy, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your system run way better for smoother gameplay. I will walk you through the most effective changes that actually make a difference so you can enjoy smoother gameplay and higher FPS without upgrading your hardware. Let's get started. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in description. Select the CS2 game and click the Boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Head over to System Properties by searching View Advanced System Settings, then click on Settings under Performance, and choose Adjust for Best Performance. This disables all the fancy animations and windows that are completely useless during gameplay and drain resources on low-end hardware. Next, let's clean up Windows Scheduling. In the same performance options, under the Advanced tab, make sure. Adjust for best performance of is set to programs, not background services. This ensures more CPU power is allocated directly to CS2 instead of running other background threads. Let's move by opening your Windows settings and typing Game Mode into the search bar. When it appears, click on it and make sure Game Mode is turned on. This feature helps minimize unnecessary background tasks and shifts more of your system's power toward running your game. In CS2, this can lead to a noticeable reduction in unexpected FPS drops and micro stutters, especially during intense firefights or utility heavy rounds. While you're still in Windows settings, go over to graphics settings. Here, you'll want to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. What this does is offload some GPU-related processes from your CPU, helping to reduce input latency and slightly boost your frame rates, something that makes a big difference when you're peaking angles or reacting to sudden plays in CS2's fast-paced environment. Let's now dial in even more precision by giving CS2 a higher GPU priority. Under Graphics Settings, scroll down to the App section, Click Browse after selecting Desktop App from the drop-down and locate your CS2 executable. You'll usually find it under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, Bin, Win64, and look for the CS2.x file. Add it, then click Options, select High Performance, and hit Save. This forces Windows to dedicate more GPU power specifically to CS2, reducing performance dips and maintaining smoother gameplay during clutch rounds. With these simple yet powerful adjustments, you'll see CS2 running more reliably, with fewer slowdowns and a tighter, more responsive feel, even if you're playing on older or less powerful hardware. Now let's go a step deeper, into the registry. Press Windows plus R, type regedit and hit Enter. Now, copy the exact registry path from the description and paste it here. Here, set Network Throttling Index tu 8 times f then change System Responsiveness to 0. These tweaks remove Windows' default latency buffer and make it more responsive to real-time apps, which helps CS2 render frames more smoothly, especially during fast movements and action-heavy scenes. Now, it's time to jump into CS2 itself. Launch the game and start with the video settings. Set global shadow quality to low, model texture detail to low, and shader detail to low. Turn off ambient occlusion, multi-sampling anti-aliasing, and fidelity FX super resolution unless you're using FSR at ultra performance mode. This drastically lowers GPU load. Also, disable boost player contrast and vertical sync. Both add latency and lower performance on weak GPUs. In the Display tab, always run the game in full screen mode, not windowed or borderless. Full screen ensures exclusive access to the EDR GPU and gives the highest FPS on low end systems. Finally, don't forget your launch options. Right click on CS2 in Steam, go to Properties, and under Launch Options, paste the command I've provided in the description. Replace X with your total logical processor count, like 4 or 8. This forces CS2 to run at high CPU priority, skips. The intro video disables unused controller support and sets an FPS cap above your actual target, reducing frame time inconsistencies. Apply all these changes, and your low-end PC will be running CS2 far smoother with reduced stutters and a noticeable FPS boost. These tweaks don't just improve performance, they make the game playable. 
Don't forget to restart your system once you've applied everything to lock in the changes. So guys, that was today's video. Please hit the like button and make. Sure to subscribe to me channel for more videos like this. Peace out.